Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a tied together mouth tutorial as you saw in the thumbnail and the title. Um, as you can see here, I'm just layering on liquid latex. I did a little bit more in depth on my slit neck throat tutorial. So if you want to see that, I will leave it in the comments below. And you need to make sure in between each layer that you are um, drying everything down. And I did three la layers of regular Kleenex before I added the cotton that I, you see me doing right here. And the cotton is going to help bring it away from your mouth and it makes you kind of lose your mouth shape. And it brings it forward a bit more. So that's why it's important to do cotton. And then after this layer, I also did add another layer of Kleenex just so everything would get smoothed back out again. And then when you're working with liquid latex and cotton, you're going to want to use a spatula instead of a sponge. I did try to use a sponge at one point and it did not work so well. So go ahead and use a spatula or a little stick or something like that and it'll work a lot better to smooth everything out. And again, just make sure you dry down everything completely so that when you cut it open, everything is dry and nothing is wet. Next, I'm just taking some foundation so that I can make the latex the same color as my skin so it looks more realistic. And then after that, I set it with some powder and I add some bronzer to make it look a little bit more bruised. After you have all that done, you're going to want to make a tiny little incision with a small brow pair of scissors and then move to a bigger kitchen scissors and that way it's going to be easier and easier to cut open that mouth and get the shape you want. And on this one you don't want to cut in such a straight line, you want to create an um, oval opening so that you have um, more room to work with when you're tying it together. Next I'm just taking some red face paint and then eventually a darker red and then a black and layering it all into the mouth opening and also brushing it on top of the latex to make it look more realistic. Now this step is totally optional but I just took a burgundy eyeshadow and then I eventually mixed a little black in with that and set everything down. This is the part I had the hardest time with. It was poking all the holes through. You want to do about five or six of these so you can tie it back and forth. But getting, making the holes and then tying the um, twine through them is actually really difficult. So take your time on this step. Just don't rush it. It'll make it look more realistic in the end if you take your time. And I did use the tweezers to pull the twine through. I found that that was the only way that I could get them through. And I just did that by sticking the tweezers through the hole that the, I wanted the twine to go through and just pulling the twine through that way. That was the only way that that was going to get through the hole. And then finally, I'm just taking some coagulated blood on a spatula and spreading that all around in the inner part of the mouth. And then after that, I do take some squirt blood on a um, more of a blood sponge and I dab that all around to give it that scary, gruesome effect. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you want more videos like this, let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. <laughs>